Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy questions for you. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to choose the correct answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. What type of cell does mitosis create? And answer A. Diploid, B. Haploid, C. Gamete and D sperm and actually these three answers haploid gamete and sperm uh, would represent uh, the same uh, sperm is a gamete and gamete is haploid so uh, actually uh, mitosis is um, division of the autosome and uh, autosome produce autosome so diploid cell would produce diploid cell. So the correct answer would be answer A. And uh, meiosis would produce haploid cell, gametes, and uh, one of the variants of the gamete would be sperm. Another variant of the gametes that produce females would be X cell. And next question, if an organism is heterozygous for two genes, gene D and G, what is uh, one of the alleles that would be found in the gametes produced? And here is the variance given. And actually it is very easy to solve this problem. So basically we have two genes here. And because uh, all the organisms are deployed, or more correctly would would be to say um, most of the organisms are diploid because uh, some plants can be polyploid, can be triploid, can be um, tetraploid, pentaploid, hexaploid and so on. And also there are a number of organisms that is um, monoploid, so have only one set of chromosomes. And also organisms are exists that... Uh, change life cycles in one life cycle they can be um, monoploid and in the next uh, generation they can be deployed so, and for example mosses are haploid but they have a part that uh, called sporangium that is deployed so there are very different variants exist in the nature so uh, you have to remember that here we have two genes and diploid organism uh, may have um, two variant of the same gene that we call alleles so in our example we have gene D and gene G and uh, both of them are heterozygous so both genes represented here by two variants of the alleles dominant allele and recessive dominant allele and recessive so these two genes uh, can produce haploid gametes and uh, one of the uh, variant of the allele have to be present in uh, a gamete so the first variant would be capital D capital G second variant of the gamete would be capital D small g third variant would be small d and capital G and the first variant would be small d and small g so uh, total number of variants of the gametes that this diploid organism can produce is list here and now let's check this list and this list. So answer A we see two variants of one gene and we miss uh, gene G so this is not correct answer. Answer B we have uh, capital D and capital G so this uh, variant is possible in gametes. Answer C uh, give us uh, variant uh, where we have only one uh, allele once again uh, any of the alleles for gene 
G is missing. So we have to cross out this answer. We have to cross answer D because it only gives one allele of the gene G and another gene is missing. And uh, answer E, once again, we see two alleles of the one gene and the second gene is missing. But um, as you see, we have to have in gametes one allele of each gene. So, uh, as you see, uh, the correct answer would be answer B. Once again, a female organism would produce egg cells and male organism would produce sperm. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.